Aloha everyone and welcome back. This is the Leilani Estates update for June 6, 2018. Not much has changed since yesterday, June 5th. Um, so let's just get right to it and talk about Fissure 8. Uh, it's pretty much still fountaining. Uh, the, the heights, according to USGS, has diminished slightly. Um, it is still producing the lava flow that is flowing out north and then to the east, uh, affecting Kapaho area. Um, the uh, Kapaho Bay is gone. Uh, it has been pretty much filled in. That includes Champagne Ponds and the tidal pools have also been uh, filled in. So they're pretty much gone as well. Uh, USGS put out a, a good video this morning of the fissure 8 flow. Let's go take a look at that now. What you see here is fissure 8. Um, the flow is moving towards the north and as you can see it's built a, a half cone. This is the lava flow from Fissure 8 flowing northward. This is the levee system built by the flow and it can be 20 plus feet in height. Okay, next up we have the prediction maps for the SO2 levels for uh, June 7th, 12 noon Hawaii Standard Time. Map was generated on June 6th, 2018. The stars indicate emission sources from left to right. The first one represents Halima'uma'u crater. The second star represents Pu'u'o'o and the final stars on the right represent the East Rift Zone fissure line. And finally we'll wrap this up with a, uh, the official USGS flow maps ranging from May 28th, 2018 to June 6th, 2018. This has been the Leilani Estates update for June 6, 2018.